help us out. Because they, they did it the last few times. We got a Taste of Chaos and Warp Tour uh, from fans' votes and people believing in us and helping us out. So, so we, want, we want one more. So, you know, empty promises aside, this, this stuff does work. We do need to. Alright, so let's watch it perform. <laughs> My Jesus was black. <laughs> <laughs> We're all uh, Back here on Jiggy Jake TV, Community Access Television. The most rated show on access, but number one in hell. I am, of Ooh. course, Jigman Freud, the master debater, the Kenning linguist, the admiral of alliteration. And I've got the world famous star of stage and screen, Action Corey, with me. Everybody's like favorite, Jag. Everybody's favorite you best up. friend. And the breakpoint method. Gentlemen, what's going on? What's up? We're just, uh,. Uh, what we do. So what's what's been going on lately? Oh man, same old stuff. Trying to get this album out is really what's been going on. I'm working real hard on it. Been busy. So, so what? When is the actual album starting? We're not gonna say a release date yet because <laughs> we're we're still working on it. We, we it's have a to, secret. We are. It is a secret actually, because it's a big it's a big deal for us and a lot of people, you know. So yeah. we're definitely doing it right. We're know? taking our time. We're let's go. Getting all everything ready for it, so we're not unprepared. You it know. sounds like so far from it's amazing. It's, it's sounding great. It's sounding uh, marvelous. Um, You've heard our demo. You're just gonna throw. No, this gonna blow our demo out. We've had the privilege to work with uh, a really good engineer, uh, Chris Cosgrove. He's fantastic. The best for this area by far. Uh, he's worked with a lot of people, like, even like Tech Nine and things like that. I mean, That's cool. Yeah, I mean he's really done some good stuff. So he's taking care of us. So, uh, you guys get to actually close the show. One, yeah. one of the very few shows I've been to, that you guys actually get to. Because we're we usually good. like, because we're usually like, we want to open. <laughs> we're like, we want to end now. We want to go home and sleep. Yeah, we're so tired. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, it doesn't matter to us what time we play or when we play. It's the same every time. It doesn't matter if it's eight in the morning. We play just like oh, we we kill it just the same. Stage. Yeah, we're always, always the same intensity. So uh, tell me about this Battle of the Bands thing. I've been hearing a lot of people talking about it all over the place. We're going to play Warp Tour again. Yep. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you go to battleofthebands.com. Uh, you make an account. You find us on there. Uh, fans vote every day. <coughs> Help us out. Um, basically, cool. the way it works is 100 bands in the top, the top 100 bands in your yeah. city get picked. And then they pick four. Uh, by ear, you know, which band sounds the best, which one yeah. can pull the biggest crowd, which one's most popular, yada yada yada. Um, last year we won Taste of Chaos and worked for the same way. Um, it's one of those things you can't do without friends. Yeah, you have to have help. Actually, everything you have to have help. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys seem to have like legions of fans. What they have, for you? They've really, uh... Just the hair. <laughs> 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 No, they've they they have really pulled through for us uh, quite a few times in the past, and they're they're really what we do this for. Yeah, and it's yeah. awesome, you know. When, when we log on like the MySpace or the Facebook, just do some updates, you know, we'll have like three or four people be like, oh my god, hey, Breakpoint Method. You know, it's just it's such a, it's such a cool feeling because you know, I'm just sitting in my whole house in my underwear. And I'm just sitting there at my computer. You know, like oh my god, I'm like, uh, yo, what's this is up? Amazing. I can't believe we're talking to you. You know, like yeah, yeah, it's true. Cool. <laughs> You know, no, I mean, it's, it's just a regular. It's dude. really cool, you know, because if I log on my personal account, no one gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, parents are online, whatever, you know. So, you know, the the fact that they they show dedication, um, they always want to talk to us. They always want to leave us messages. Um, people are always wanting shirts, hoodies, wanting to know when the album comes out. Like, I don't know how many times I've heard that in the last three months. I wish we had when's the album. When's the album? When's the album? You know, and. As soon as we can get it, that's, that's the only thing that's I can really say. Can um, we, we, we are shooting for a summer release. That's the I'd say that's at the latest. At, at the latest, I would say summer release, unless for some reason this place burns down. <laughs> His studio just <laughs> <laughs> And we lose everything. <laughs> and it knocked on the back up somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's not no, I'm not saying it's funny, I'm just saying, because I don't even know if that's real wood, that might just be drywall, you're not going to jinx the shit out of us. <laughs> anyway, tentatively planning. <laughs> Summer <Okay. ladies. laughs> Empty promises. Now, actually, Corey, you have a couple questions before I ask the big question. 
and let these guys go. Oh, the guys get the fans out there that are really great. Would it fly? Be called a walk if it had no wings. No. Be called a fuck down bug. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. a beetle, it's a bear. <laughs> what would your dildo name be or if you were? What? If you had a dildo. If you had a dildo. Anal or? Either way. I'm tired of the fly. I call it Bear because he's a pain in my ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smartest that thing was ever fucking ever. ever said. <laughs> boom, uh, boom. Probably Ripsaw the Tormentor. <laughs> <laughs> I call mine the home wrecker. And now, gentlemen, I need to know some advice. I've known you guys a long time. You guys would never steer me wrong. I'm going to be fighting the extreme midgets. <laughs> How do I be going with these midgets? Midgets fighting. In a stapler match. I would wear a cup. If this is real. Yeah. 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 The blue goat. Like actually fist fight fighting. Them. Like kicking their ass. They're yeah. going to have me versus the extreme midgets. Tim Dixon came up to me one day. He's like, we got these midgets. Like going. boxing gloves? or like They're going to be wrestling. Like they have professional match. wrestling midgets with a stapler match. They, they told me, you want to fight midgets? I said, Giggle. 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 Every time they touch you, they <laughs> <laughs> emasculate to make more than they have. Even if they are the shit out of you, you just laugh. <laughs> just be like, if one of them hits me and I find out about it, ooh. It's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you'll, be right. you'll be alright, man. You're really gonna fight midgets? Yeah. Man, we're a cop, dude. Can we fight midgets? Oh, Can the breakpoint method kick some midget ass? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you just tag us in and we'll all four just start slaughtering the midgets? <laughs> <laughs> Bret Hardy. I don't know if I'm coming for this anymore. <laughs> I'm not wearing tights up for more than two hours. Come on. Midgets. Oh, yeah. Throw them out of the ring. You probably throw them to the entrance. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's wrestling, not midget tossing. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the 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 whole thing is 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 I'm going to be fighting midgets and I'm going to be wearing leopard print boxing trunks. Of course. And then um, Bruce, Here's some good advice. Don't Bruce is Spanish. my manager and he's going to be standing yeah. at ringside. Bruce and he's is gonna your be manager. Oh, get really fucking liquored up, too. <laughs> and he told me, he said, you know, if the midgets, if, if I get in trouble, he's just going to throw Spider-Man at him. So, like, uh, I pretty much have no help. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may throw Spider-Man. Yeah, he just does Spider-Man. He, he thinks that's... But if someone's kicking something's ass, why would you want to bring it closer to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... If he's kicking your ass, I am not dragging him towards you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, let's go watch more here on Jiggy Jig TV. But yeah, I'm, I'm really fighting. Okay, go. Maybe I'll cheat her with a friend. Hell yeah. <laughs>